Is it possible that an object linked to a Middle Eastern temple, the Temple of Baal, was actually erected in New York City? And is it possible that city officials actually took part in a ceremony to herald it? This is Jonathan Kahn. In The Return of the Gods, my latest book, I reveal that the ancient gods have actually returned, the spirits returned to America and to the West and to the world. And it's actually changing our world. And what do you need to know in order to prevail in the days ahead? Where's it all going? Well, what I just told you, the erecting of an object linked to the ancient temple of Baal, it actually happened in New York City. And I was there to witness it. It was a mysterious object. It was covered in a sheet. It was the arch that led the worshipers of Baal into the temple of Baal to worship him. And not just that, but it was erected, not just in some no place, some place that didn't mean much, on City Hall, the actual seat of the government of New York. And those who officiated over the event of heralding this object of Baal were government officials. They even had a sign there that said the Temple of Baal or the Temple of Baal. And then they made this big thing of the moment to unveil it. As they took away the sheet, they, were, they played music. They had a, a little band of people playing music, playing Middle Eastern music that would have been the kind that you would have imagined would be played at the Temple of Baal while they were worshiping Baal. And everybody was applauding as to the music of Baal, to the object of Baal, and the officials were applauding. And there it was. Strange thing for New York to do this. And here, here, Baal is a symbol of the God that led Israel away from God, a nation that had known God, but now departed from God. And Baal was also known for a link to child sacrifice. Interesting because when America was battling over that issue, abortion, over the Supreme Court judge in Washington, when the hearings got intense, that very moment an object appeared outside the Capitol building on the Washington Mall, facing it. What was the sign? What was the object? It was again the Arch of Baal. The Arch of Baal, linked to child sacrifice, was there as this spiritual war went forth over the future of America and abortion and the killing of children. Here it was, the sign of Baal. The sign of a nation that has abandoned God. The sign of a nation that is being possessed by another spirit. A sign of a nation that has fallen away. And yet, that's still fighting. It's, it's a nation divided. This is what I actually saw firsthand. This is real. This is a little taste of the return of the God. The Return of the Gods is the revelation, the book, the latest book I wrote that reveals what is happening, why it's affecting everything, affecting the Supreme Court. It's affecting your life. What do you need to know? Where is it going for you and the people in your life? Now, next time, we're going to reveal, give you a taste of the second God of the Dark Trinity. Let me give you a hint. It's a she. It is the Enchantress. Hit subscribe so you don't miss it. This is Jonathan Kahn. I'll see you next time. Coming up, the mystery of the Enchantress. In the Bible, she's called Ashtora. In Phoenicia, she was called Astart. In Babylon, she was called Ishtar. In Sumer, Inanna. In Greece, Aphrodite. In Rome, Venus.